guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. We are in the Florida Everglades in sunny South Florida. Right behind me we have the Beast. Let's take a look at this truck. Essentially, it is a 1989 AM General Humvee, a former military vehicle. And we have put 500 hours of time, sweat, and beers into this thing to get it where it is. I mean, if you start to walk around it with me, you're gonna take note of every single bolt that has been replaced. We started off with a pretty beat up truck. I thought it was bad until we started to disassemble it. We had to replace the whole entire front subframe, so the whole frame essentially, and then it just spiraled down from there. Every single hub has been replaced, rebuilt uh, because they were all leaking or they had bad bearings. Uh, we have painted it in a tan color, which is a factory, tan, like a Rapco tan. We replaced all of the lights to LED. Every single nut and bolt throughout the vehicle is a Torx head stainless steel. Uh, we've got an MME custom bumper uh, with color matched uh, line X for the interior and the exterior, which you'll see shortly with worn winch up front. Um, when you crawl down here, take a look at the suspension. We've color matched the shocks, the brakes, and the differential settings. All of the hardware on the uh, suspension is upgraded to stainless uh, grade eight. Uh, while we walk to the side of this truck, we've got ourselves an MME light bar. Every single bolt on this truck is replaced. Take a look at this, all new gaskets. Everything's professionally wired. We've got new mirrors, brand new top and doors. And then we've got ourselves uh, fuel 20 by 14 with 40 by 1550 open countries from Toyo, which actually ride really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood. Give me one second. So we kept the original 6.5 liter, but we essentially went through all the systems. We had to replace the alternator, the mechanical fuel pump, uh, essentially the injection pump too, Cadillac valve, uh, right next to the Cadillac valve you have your relays for all your lights. Um, cooling bottle was replaced, all new belts. This truck was overheating, we had to do the thermostat as well. We've got a cast car grounding kit and then the customer requested that he could be able to afford water so we put a fording kit on it. Take a look at the uh, inner fender skirts, all new hardware. Inside of the or underneath the hood, it's all new hardware as well. I would say we have about thirty-five to four thousand dollars in hardware in this truck. Unbelievable. Let me close it up. We're gonna walk to the rear of it now. Wheels came out really nice. I love how they fit the uh, fenders. They stick out about two and a half inches. Uh, when you get to the rear of the truck, it really shows extremely well. We've got ourselves a custom CNC cut logo for Bullet Motorsports. We've modified a bracket so that you can have your license plate there and it'll fold if necessary. All quick disconnects. Color match shocks underneath there. We've got our Mod Mafia portal axle covers, which are an aluminum. Better cool and you can actually see your level. Um, all new hardware throughout. You got your truck light LEDs, and then when I open this up, you can see that we did a line X that's a, a little bit of a darker tan. Looks excellent, really robust, so you can put a lot of hardware in there if necessary. Let's go ahead and go inside. It's probably gonna be easier if we take these doors off, so that's a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. We've got ourselves a completely stripped and rebuilt interior. Uh, best top seats, a nice jumper seat uh, that's essentially made for a CJ8 or 7 Jeep. We modified the bracket so you can remove it easily if you do, do not decide to use it and you wanna put a cooler in there. Take a look at how we've run the Line X. We ran it through the center B pillar and then all the wiring is hidden throughout the uh, actual pillar itself. All new seat belts, all new hardware, Torx heads, custom cut aluminum plates for the seats, not using the existing hardware. We've run wiring for the subs, which is all wet sounds. It's a wet sounds AS6 on both sides, and they're both uh, paired in unison, so you can only control them with one subwoofer control, which we'll show you shortly. 
We've modified the radio tray to have cup holders and our signature USB charging port. All of that is powered by a MME uh, switch panel. We broke up the colors by doing the tan and the line X. It came out extremely nice. I'm extremely happy with how the whole entire project turned out. I'm gonna show you the wiring for this system. Let me get it under there. So we've got two brand new batteries. All the wiring is new. We've got yourselves an Orion 2412 70 amp converter. Uh, and then it goes to a, a Blue Tech fuse block. These two are for the subs. And then, uh, let's see here. One of these is for the sound bar. The rest are for the lights inside of the vehicle. You've got your positive ground, which is the correct thickness for the setup. Everything is wrapped in nylon and heat shrinked. So it's all watertight. Let me put this in. Uh, let's walk to the other side. You're gonna have to totally cut that. <laughs> no? Okay, so we're at the other side of the truck. We've completely blown apart the dash and we kind of freshened it up. We got ourselves a satin, a a flat satin paint for the uh, center section of the gauge cluster. If you take a look, you can go in there. Custom vibrant steering wheel with white stitching to match. Uh, we've modified the existing light system. So we took it apart, sandblasted it, and then painted it to the existing, to, to match the actual uh, gauge pod. Uh, everything is new in regards to the wiring. The seats came out great. And then the stereo is unbelievable. So these are made for like UTVs or for boats or for like uh, off-road vehicles. And obviously a Hummer is. This thing sounds unbelievable when you when you set it up right. It's not too loud, nice and crisp, it's more like a Bose stereo. And we've got our signature plate for the customer, Mr. Uh, Mr. Rosier, the beast. Uh, extremely happy with how this product came out and hopefully we can keep building more. We've got a year and a half wait right now on trucks like this, but if you really want to get the best of the best, give us a call. 954-363-2261.